all right so good to be back my name is Hudson welcome back to my channel today is a continuation of our Laravel crowd for beginners so in our last tutorial we ran this command php artisan serve which serves your Laravel application on the php development server and we saw our application running on port 8000 today we're going to look at what is the mvc architecture and then we're going to try and set up our database so mvc stands for model view controller it's a design pattern often used in web development the m in the mvc is the model which represents the data and the rules that govern access to and updates of this data in essence it's all about the database interaction then the v in the mvc stands for the view which is the user interface what's being presented to the users and how users interact with our application then the c in the mvc is for the controller which is the business logic it has handles the input from the users usually through user interface events and updates the model and view accordingly so this whole thing is about separation of functionality or concerns this separation allows for efficient code organization easier debugging and a clear structure that facilitates collaboration and scalability this is an illustration of the mvc architecture in a diagram you can see right here we have our database right here we also have our model we have our view right here and we have our controller right here of course we have a user who is visiting a given website right here and so they send a request to the server in the form of a route that route is going to be handled by the controller the controller will determine whether it's going to fetch some data from the database or is just going to respond with certain information to the view without even asking the database this is how it interacts and so we're going to start from this database right here so we're going to set up our database and make sure our database is running and then we're can look at the model and then controller and then view etc all right so setting our database connection we need to set our database connection but before we set our database connection we need to make sure that my sql database in zamp is up and running so uh what i would do is i have to go to my zamp right here you can see right here this is the control panel zamp and so i'm going to start my apache and we can see if we go to the admin you can see it takes us to the dashboard right here so we're good to go and we can also start my sql so if i start my sql it looks like we have our default port is 3306 we want to change that port so we can just go to my config my ini so this time i'm going to change this to 4306 so these two places you're good to go save that and once you save that you come back here and then you start you can see my sql server is now running we can now try to access this my sql server by going to admin right here so if i click on admin we have another error right here so it, it looks like we need to change some configurations in php my admin all right so you need to go to zamp where you installed your zamp it might be in the c drive or d drive and then double click on zamp and then you need to go to php my admin right here double click there and then locate a file called config dot inc.php and then you right click that and then you want to say edit in notepad so we want to add a directive here right at the beginning of this file right here where it says authentication type and info i need to copy one of these directives Control c Control v right there we need to specify the port at which my sql server is running so we can always go back to this control panel and check the port at which my sql is running it's running on 4306 so in here where it says allowed password we need to convert that into port p-o-r-t and then here we specify the value of the port 4306 and then we put that semicolon now don't forget that semicolon all right once we save this i'm sure this will fix the problem all right so we can now try and visit my sql admin so if i click on that you can see now we have access to my sql server and so you can see up here it says server running on localhost 4306 this is where you can create your databases and so uh back to my ppt right here we are right here where we are creating our database and so we need to create our database to create our database we can just come up here and then click on new and then it will give us options right here this interface to create our new database so i'm going to name our database uh, same as our application name which is crud app this helps me to remember which database is for which application and then you hit on create and this is going to create a database for you you can see up here there's a new database created here which is called crud app and we are good to go 
and so now if i'm to go back to my ppt right here you can see now we have our database right here and so with our database we need to be able to connect to our database and so how do we configure those settings in laravel we do that inside the env file the env file is a configuration file where you can store environment specific variables it's often used for sensitive information that you don't want to hard code into your application like your database credentials api keys or other secrets and so in this case we have database credentials that we want to configure and so we're going to do that in that file but before i get into that file we can go back here and we want to look at privileges that we have who's the owner of this database the host and all that information you can go to privileges right here this is where you'll find the username the host name of your database and all the privileges that you have so we can see our username is root our host name is local host but our database name is crud up and that's the information that we need to configure inside our env so if we come up here in our application right here this is our application we can go to the env file right here and we want to go to this database section you can see where it says database connection we are not connected to sqlite we are connected to mysql so if you come up here you can see it says the module is mysql and so we want to write here not sqlite we want to write mysql like that the db hosts we can always go back here and look host name is 127 so we uncomment that and then we go to the port number we can look at this control panel right here port number 4306 and then change that to 4306 database is the database name it's not called laravel it's called crud dash up and then the username obviously here you can see the username root 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 so it's, it's only root the db password we don't have any you can see there is no password right here so we're gonna leave that as empty and if we save this and we close this we have configured our database connection so we need to test that database connection for you to test the database connection you need to use this command right here php artisan migrate you can search for migrations right here we have running migrations and so this is what we want to check to run all your outstanding migrations execute the migrate artisan command so this is the command that we are supposed to run right here so what is to migrate to migrate is to take a schema and make it an actual table in your database i'll show you right here in your database go to your database go to your migrations you see there are migrations right here these are default they come with your laravel installation we have this users migration if we open this file it will show you some kind of schema create it means this is an instruction to create a users table this is an instruction to create a password reset token table once you have these migrations for you to transform these into actual tables in your database you need to run that php artisan migrate and so we want to test our connection so to do that come down here have a separate terminal and then we run the command php artisan migrate if i run this command we're supposed to populate this database with these tables so if i hit enter right here you can see it says creating migration table and then it's also going to create other tables as well so we have users table we have cache table we have job table table so if i'm to go to php my admin if i refresh we are supposed to see a lot of tables populated in the crud app database all right so with this we have successfully connected to our database in our next tutorial of course we're going to look at what is a database schema and see how we can then create tables by using artisan commands to create these tables i hope you find this helpful if you find this helpful leave a like leave a comment consider subscribing to the channel i hope to see you in my next tutorial. For now, I'm out. Bye-bye.